Hello and welcome back. In our today's video, we will discuss about the internal rate of return. The internal rate of return, or IRR, is a metric used in financial analysis to estimate the profitability of potential investments. IRR is a discount rate that makes the net present value of all cash flows equal to zero in a discounted cash flow analysis. Generally speaking, the higher an internal rate of return, the more desirable an investment is to undertake. Which means that if you're given different options to choose from, the most feasible and profitable one for you will be the one with a higher IRR. The internal rate of return is the annual rate of growth that an investment is expected to generate. Moreover, IRR is calculated using the same concept as net present value. We have the video for net present value. I will leave the link to that video in the description of this one. The only difference with net present value analysis and IRR is that in IRR, we assume the net present value equal to zero. And also bear in mind that this might not be the only method used by companies and organizations to choose a project. They might consider other aspects of the projects as well. First of all, I will show you how to do IRR in Microsoft Excel, and then we will do a manual calculation. So in Microsoft Excel, we have a cash flow table for a project or an investment. At the beginning, you have to invest $5,000 in the project. In year one, it will return back with $2,200. And the same will be in year two, and the same will be in year three. In order to calculate the IRR, let's write down the formula. It equals to IRR, open parenthesis, select the values. Moreover, the Microsoft Excel asks you for a guess. For a number, you might be thinking that should be the IRR. But it doesn't matter if you put the number here or not. We will not put the number here. Close the bracket and enter. So the internal rate of return for this project is 15% per annum. Let's change some of the values here and see how does the IRR react to that. For example, let's make it 3000 for year one and let's make it 3,500 for year two, and let's make it 4,000 for year three. As you can see, the IRR increased to 46%. In other words, the income from the project is higher than its previous situation, which was 2,200 every year. That's why I said earlier that the higher the IRR, the more profitable the project is. This is how we do it in Microsoft Excel. Now let's go and see how it's done manually. So as we said earlier, in order to calculate the internal rate of return of a project, the net present value should be assumed to be equal to zero. As we have the formula for net present value, it's the future value divided by one plus the internal rate of return to the power of n. n is the number of periods. Summation of these values converted to the present value minus the in initial investment equals to net present value, and that should equal to zero. So for this project, the formula should be like this. Since we had the values from the future to be $2,200 every single year, for year one, year two, year three, minus $5,000. So what we have to do is, we will assume a number or a percentage for the IRR at the first. Assume any percentage for the IRR. For example, in our case, we will assume the IRR at our first trial to be 10%. Once we assume that, the net present value now will be 2200 divided by 1 plus IRR or 10%, which will equal to 0 0.1, to the power of 1 for the first year, to the power of 2 for the second year, and to the power of 3 for the third year, minus $5,000 which was our initial investment. This will equal to, this value will be 2,000, this will be $1,818, and the next one will be 1,653 minus 5,000. 
The difference will be $471, which is way bigger than zero. So 10% is not the IRR. Let's increase the IRR and assume it is 12%. For 12%, the formula will look like this. And the values will be calculated as 1964, 1754, and 1566 minus 5,000, the initial investment that we had, that won't change. The net present value will be $284, which is still higher than zero. As you have noticed that we increased the IRR from 10% to 12%, the NPV decreased. So it means that if we increase it further, it will come down to zero. So let's increase it to 14% here. And 14%, the formula will be like this, and once the values are calculated, the difference or the NPV will be $108, still higher than zero. Let's add 1% more to that and assume the IRR is 15%. Now, in our formula, the IRR will be replaced with 15%. Once these values are calculated, they will be given here, and the difference will be $22. Since $22 is a relatively small number, we'll leave it here and assume that the IRR is 15%. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.